So in today's short, we're talking about relative humidity. This is something you hear about all the time when people speak about condensation problems. So what is relative humidity? Well, it's actually how much water vapor is in the air compared to the maximum it could hold at a specific temperature. Now, water vapor is the water in its gas form. And if we look here, here I have examples of three buckets and these buckets represent the air and its capacity to hold moisture at these different temperatures. So in my scenario, uh, I've just created a load of moisture and that moisture, say in a shower room, for example, I've created so many units of moisture and that will be the same in all of these scenarios, the actual water vapor. But what changes is the relative humidity dependent on the temperature. So for example, at 15 degrees, you can see my bucket here, it's very easy to over, near enough overflow, that's 80%. If we decrease that temperature, chances are that's going to go higher and overflow. If we increase the temperature, the bucket or the air increases its capacity to hold more water vapour. Suddenly, the relative humidity drops. The amount of water vapour in the air is the same as here. But the relative humidity drops. Same here. Let's go to 22 degrees. It drops even more. So we're further away from being at saturation point of the air. Now, this is great because when it comes to mould and things like that, Mold likes roughly over 70% RH on average. So the key is let's keep it below 70% RH. And we can do this by having warmer air. Now I'm not saying just control humidity levels in your property purely by heating. You need to also use ventilation. If you ventilate, that will actually physically help remove the water vapor from the air or bring drier air into the property. And that will lower the humidity as well. So a combination of heat and ventilation is perfect. Now, when we get to 100% RH, that is when the water vapor, so that gas, water in its gas form, turns to a liquid, condensate. So you see it on the windows. Now, that's called condensation. But, very quick video just to explain relative humidity. Hopefully you can understand the relationship a little bit more with heat and how you can decrease the relative humidity and also that ventilation is the key. So have a go at that and try and lower your relative humidity levels in your property.